morning to one and all today we will learn candidate elimination algorithm machine learning program in your lab so what is candidate elimination algorithm candidate elimination algorithm is a concept learning algorithm of machine learning which includes both positive and negative samples in a data set while considering the version space considering both gender and uh, specific hypothesis it finds all the describable hypotheses that are consistent with the observed training example so hypothesis is derived we have already seen in finders from reg examples regardless whether x is positive or negative example so taking the, the weather data set to uh, enjoy the sports uh, with the, the target function as yes or no this is your uh, uh, positive or negative examples you have three positive and one negative sample in find list we used only positive samples and in candidate elimination we are using negative samples we are considering negative samples also so we have a general hypothesis and a specific hypothesis general hypothesis represented by question mark as a notation and specific hypothesis represented by phi so you have the attributes sky air temperature humidity wind water and forecast depending on these attributes uh, the target function is a dependent attribute on this independent attributes so initially first a tuple is initialized as a specific hypothesis as it is a positive sample as it is yes okay we'll do the same thing as we did for find this algorithm that is we just use the notation question mark okay we change it to we generalize it that is we change it if there is a change in the attribute value as you can see the second triple humidity value is changed rest all are same it's normal and high there is a change so we replace that by using the question mark in the third attribute for specific hypothesis next one is a no so next you can see next sample is a no negative example so we use candidate elimination algorithm so what do we do here we generalize whatever is your general hypothesis we convert that into specific hypothesis so we have seen here uh, it's uh, rainy okay we convert it into specific hypothesis that is sunny similarly warm high okay high it is it is generalized we make it specific to be warm similarly with change we make it specific hypothesis to be same so this is my general hypothesis after iteration three so my fourth iteration is a positive sample so the specific hypothesis change only the specific hypothesis change so finally what is my version space finally what is my general and uh, specific hypothesis at the last of the iteration when i see i can eliminate which is same because only in the one iteration it changes that's why that candidate is eliminated and converted to specific hypothesis and we do not retain that value in general hypothesis we eliminate that candidate okay so this is your final output so going back to the data set and the code so this is your data set okay four tuples we have yes yes no yes with the attribute sky air temperature humidity wind water forecast okay so going to the machine learning program for a given training set of training data examples stored in .csv file comma separated values file implement and demonstrate the candidate elimination algorithm to output a description of set of all the hypothesis consistent so we have to um, finally show what is the general hypothesis final general hypothesis and final specific hypothesis so the data set is uh, whatever i showed you here the weather data set for enjoy sports okay so this is your data set we are eliminating the last attributes as concepts because we already know it is positive or negative sample we are eliminating depending on the values for the first okay six attributes the first six attributes they are deciding whether uh, uh, the person can place quotes or not we are gently creating a hypothesis okay so that is your concepts eliminating okay slicing 
Python slicing is used here. Uh, so data is sliced, data set is sliced, the last attribute is not considered. So target having only the last attribute. So there is a function define concept, concepts, learn concepts and target as a function where initially we copy the first tuple to be the specific hypothesis the first row is copied general hypothesis for a range of all the values we are defining and enumerating iterating it for the entire data set so if the target data set is yes we just replace it with a question mark the hypothesis specific hypothesis if the target data set the sample is a negative sample what do we do we find the general hypothesis okay so it's a two-dimensional okay uh, structure so we calculate for each attribute we calculate what is the hypothesis there what is the value given and depending on that we convert it to be specific we do not generalize it we convert it to be specific so final finally uh, we check with uh, the specific hypothesis uh, which is the candidate to be eliminated which can be made more specific than general we eliminate the candidate here depending on the indices okay we remove it from the general hypothesis and finally we print what is the specific hypothesis at the last general hypothesis to the function we return it to the function and print it so as shown in the ppt the same sunny warm okay question mark strong and question mark question mark okay this is your specific hypothesis and this is your general hypothesis where same as eliminated that candidate is eliminated so iteratively also we can find out so this is the algorithm where each iteration wise you're finding out the output okay so there i'm just printing the final hypothesis general and uh, specific hypothesis here iteration wise i'm printing whatever the algorithm is calculating the same output Thank you all. This is the second program of machine learning.